what's up guys welcome and welcome back to my channel so in this video it is shown here how to test the steering gear alarms so with that the first test guys is the hydraulic tank low low level alarm upon activation of this alarm the auto isolation valve will also activate it and the standby steering gear motor will automatically start so now this test guys is the overload trip as you notice guys you have to switch on the breaker before testing and just reset right after testing and this is the phase fail just press the test and reset right afterwards upon receiving the alarm and you should not uh, forget to return back to normal and once again this is to activate the auto isolation valve and the standby steering gear motor this time we are testing the steering gear according to the command from the bridge we have to compare the response of the steering gear so why are we carrying out this test and what is the frequency of doing this kind of alarm testing so guys this is to comply all the checklists the departure and pre-arrival checklist prior to entering or leaving the port so this is the requirements this steering gear is so arranged that in the event of loss of hydraulic fluid from one system the loss can be detected and the defective system is automatically isolated within 45 seconds so that the other actuating system shall remain fully operational at 50 percent torque remain so this steering gear is a flutech the Repson slide type which has two rams and four cylinders controlled by one or two power units and it has this necessary equipment the isolating valves the level switches with low and low low level position with a test bar the electric control panel for automatic isolation system and the alarm panel for the automatic isolation system in the wheelhouse and the engine control room so as you can see guys it is shown here for one more time how to carry out those alarm testing so these alarms tests are very important prior for entering or leaving the port we, as engineers we must be sure that all these alarms are working for safety reasons as you can see guys that moving part is the ROM there are two ROMs that is controlled by uh, four cylinders and that four cylinders is controlled by hydraulic power the steering gear motor additional information guys the steering method is remote control from the bridge by autopilot system and the local control by the pump control knob and the steering gear torque at maximum working pressure is 35 degrees the rudder turning angle is starboard side 35 degrees and the port side 35 degrees and the rudder turning speed by one power unit is 65 degree at 28 seconds so just until here guys i hope we learn something about this kind of topic and if you are interested for more marine engineering videos please don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe and if you like this video please hit me the notification bell so that you will be updated for my upcoming marine engineering videos so this is jb23 vlog Thank you for watching guys, stay safe everyone, bye bye.